Having read a book for quite some time, Mrs. Taylor decides to do some singing now. She's using her Squeeze Me tablet to call her robot. By squeezing the flexible casing, the robot is commanded to approach her. Depending on the force she applies, which is animated via the mask on the robot view, the robot approaches with more or less urgency. The ceiling camera-based tracking system always knows Mrs. Taylor's location in the room, so that the robot may stop near her at a socially appropriate distance and angle according to her preferences. During the last months of use, Mrs. Taylor has taught the system possible activities ranked by their likelihood given, for example, daytime, current activity, or presence of other people. The interface device is proposing the three most likely activities for the afternoon when being alone. Mrs. Taylor actually wants to play a karaoke game and asks the robot to present the game's selection. On the robot screen, she's choosing karaoke. The robot starts the game and moves to a position which is comfortable for Mrs. Taylor to read from the display. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is so far in open earth to say. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Mrs. Taylor enjoyed singing so much that she did not hear the doorbell. Fortunately, the robot recognized it and stopped playing music. To inform the surprised Mrs. Taylor, the robot turns towards the door and displays the appropriate action possibilities on the user interface. Mrs. Taylor asks the robot to accompany her to the door. As the robot can use the ceiling camera tracking system to retrieve Mrs. Taylor's location, it can always stay next to her at a preferred distance while walking to the door. At the door, the robot leaves space for it to open. The robot utilizes its object recognition capabilities to recognize the flowers that Richard has brought. By observing the two persons' movements via a skeleton tracking algorithm, the robot can infer that Mrs. Taylor is currently receiving flowers. The robot furthermore knows that flowers need water and hence suggests getting a vase first. Moreover, since he's well known to the robot, the visitor can be identified as Richard, Mrs. Taylor's grandson. The tracking system gets informed by the robot about the identity of the visitor as well. When Mrs. Taylor and Richard sit down at the sofa, the robot infers that he's currently not supposed to disturb their conversation. However, Mrs. Taylor soon realizes that she needs a vase for her flowers. Because vases are stored at a high location, she asks the robot to bring her one. The robot moves to the cupboard, unfolds its arms, and brings its camera system to the rear position to look for vases on top of the cupboard. As soon as the object detection system recognizes a suitable vase, the robot starts to reach for it with its arm. After grasping the vase, the robot raises its tray to put the vase on it for transport. On arrival at Mrs. Taylor's side of the sofa, the robot lowers its tray to make it easier to reach. Additionally, the robot offers to put the vase on the table and suggests getting some water for the flowers. Mrs. Taylor chooses to fetch water together with the robot. After raising its tray, the robot yields space for Mrs. Taylor to stand up. Then the robot moves next to Mrs. Taylor toward the kitchen. Arrival in the kitchen, the robot moves to a location which is close to Mrs. Taylor and the working area, making it easy for her to pour water into the vase. Both return to the sofa. When Mrs. Taylor sits down, the robot lowers its tray and presents the vase. The robot also offers to put the vase on the table, but Mrs. Taylor chooses to take it directly. The robot stores the tray as soon as it becomes empty. The occupancy status of the tray can be measured by integrated proximity sensors. Mrs. Taylor now likes to have a chat with Richard and hence signals that the robot is currently not needed and sends it back to the idle location. 